part two of my review of Jeopardy for the Nintendo DS is now in session. When we finished up the first part, I had the lead of 6,200 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Chris was in second with 1,200. Kevin was in third with minus 1,400. And that means he picks first in double Jeopardy. And let's find out what the categories for this round are right now. Fill in the book title. What a TV character. Word Origins. Medieval Europe. The Vatican. Divide and Conquer. Word Origins 800. This wood eating insect gets its name from the Latin for wood eating worm. Termite. Correct. All right. So I have seven thousand dollars now, and I'll go to what a TV character for four hundred. Well, golly, he left his job and he'll be to join the Marine Corps. Who is Gomer Pyle? Good. All right. What a TV character for eight hundred. All right. It's the Daily Double. All right. Uh, I'll just go six hundred. On the Adams family, he was married to Morticia. Who is Gomez? You got it. Could have gone more, but sometimes you have to hold back. TV character twelve. Pavel was the first name of the Star Trek character played by Walter Conan. Scotty? No. Nope. Sorry. Sulu? That's not it. Nope. Chekhov. Correct. There we go. I'm not even much of a Star Trek person, but oh well. TV character 16. During a dream sequence, it was revealed that this Richard Dean Anderson character had the first name Angus. MacGyver. Good. Okay. And TV character 2000. Hardcore fans can look at the character's real name is Roy Hinckley. Skipper. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Kevin is playing like a real idiot. Gilligan? That's not it. Nope. <sighs> Professor. It's Professor. Correct. Okay, and I'm now into five figures at eleven thousand two hundred dollars. Word origins four hundred. This ground meat sandwich gets its name from a German port city. A, ha a hamburger. Good. Okay. Fill in the book title for 1600. 1922, The Beautiful and Blank by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Damned? You got it. Okay. So Kevin's at minus 2600. Medieval Europe, 800. St. Augustine established himself in this city as the first Archbishop of the English Church. London. No. Nope. Canterbury. You got it. That's what we wanted. Fill in the book title 800. 19, I mean 1895. Blank the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. Chris says Jude. Good. And he's right. So he's at minus 400, and we are going to go to Medieval Europe for 2,000. This dynasty of Frankish kings ruled France from 751 to 987. Carolingian. That's correct. All right. So Chris goes out of the hole at $1,600. 
Divide and conquer 1600, and there's the other daily double. It's the daily double. He's going to go 1200. 252 divided by 4 equals this. Sixty-three? That's yes! Correct. I knew that one. Fill in the book title, 2000. 1860, The Mill on the Blank by George Eliot. Floss? Correct. Okay. Word origins, 12. This word for a kind of landmass comes from a word meaning to contain. Island? No, sorry. No, that's not right. Peninsula? No. Sorry. No. Here is the a continent. I was about to ring in with that, but not fast enough. Medieval Europe, 1200. In the, seven, in, the, in the 1177 piece of Venice, Frederick the first... Ne oh, he... Uh, Barbarossa. Correct. And I didn't even get to finish reading the clue. Oh, well. Vatican, 800. You may not use cell phones or felt tip pens when researching in the secret these. Vaults? Sorry. Nope. Not the secret vaults. Here's the correct. The response. archives. Divide and conquer eight hundred. One hundred twenty-one divided by eleven equals this. Um. Let's see. One twenty-one. Let's see. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, ninety-nine, one ten. It's eleven. Good. Think about that for a second. Alright, I'm up to even 12,000. Divide and conquer, 400. 27 divided by 3. What is 9? Good. Divide and conquer for 1,200. Negative 72 divided by negative 9 equals this. Negative 8. Sorry. Oh, no! Oh, wait a minute. You divide two negatives, it's a positive. No. Sorry. I forgot about that. Whoopsie! <laughs> medieval Europe 16. We're in love with the medieval French literary work called This of the Rose. The Romance. Medieval Europe 4. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. This is 100 years worth to defend England from this foe. What is France? You got it. Okay. There we go. I got some of my money back. Divide and conquer 2,000. 1,252 divided by 4 equals this. Uh, oh boy. Uh, hold on a second here, folks. Three hundred and thirteen. That's correct. All right. Sorry, I had to do that, but that was kind of a tough question. Word origins for sixteen hundred. This highest natural singing voice for women is Italian for what is above. Soprano. That's correct. Okay. Forty-eight hundred now for Chris. Fill in the book, title 400. 1749, Tom Blank by Henry Fielding. Tom Swift, I believe it is. That's not nope. It. So I drop a little bit. It made sense, though. Tom Payne. That's not it. Nope. Oh. Is Kevin going in? Yeah, it's Jones. It. Tom Jones, famous singer. Fill in the book, title 1200. 1925, an American blank by Theodore Dreiser. Mm. 
in Paris? No. Tragedy? Correct. Okay, American trip. Me and Kevin back on the plus side. The Vatican for 2000 The faithful can make offerings via cash or credit card to the fund called This Man's Pence. John. Sorry. No. Paul. No, sorry. No. Shall I try it? Yes. Uh, Peter? You got it. Yes. It wasn't John or Paul, so it had to be Peter. Uh, Vatican for 400. Crispin, of first one of these, created by John Paul II. Saint? Correct. Okay. Vatican 16. The room is part of this Vatican building. Library. Good. Okay. So Kevin's back down in the hole, and we have two clues left. Word Origins 2000. This term for a leading character of a literary work comes from the Greek for first combatant. The hero? Nope. No. Sorry. So Kevin's back in the hole. Protagonist. Yeah, that's it. it. 3,200 now for Chris, and the last clue. The four papal churches include St. Peter's and St. John Lateran. Basilicas. Alright. So Chris finishes double jeopardy 4,400. Kevin will not be around. Final jeopardy category is Italian inventors. And let's see. I have 15,200. I have the game out of reach, so I don't really have to wager anything. In 1910, his new invention helped Scotland Yard catch a murderer escaping to North America across the Atlantic. Uh, I'm going to say Enrico Fermi, but I'm not sure if that's right. Don't lose a play here. Okay. The results. Good. You know Marconi. Oh, he. That's right. It's Marconi. And Chris wagered thirty-six sixty-three, so he's up to eight thousand sixty-three. I said Enrico Fermi, and that is wrong. However, I did not risk a thing, so I stay at fifteen thousand two hundred, and I've won. So that means I get to start a run for Jeopardy for the Nintendo DS, and my one game total is $15,200, and Game 2 will come to you all very soon, which I hope you will watch. In the meantime, this is Luke Stanley 2, signing out.